Hey everyone, today I'm off to check out Switzerland, Austria, Germany, the Scandinavian countries, Italy and the USA all in one day. There's just one catch, it's all miniature. I'm Paul and today my friends and I are checking out Miniatur Wunderland in Hamburg, Germany, which is the world's largest model railway exhibition. You're going to see incredible levels of detail, amazing technological solutions, beautiful landscaping, and much more. At the end I will also show you my own little project that I started as a result of when I went there for my first time. Our tickets were booked for 7.30 am which meant that we had to leave Berlin quite early in the morning. And despite the fact that we have only had 3 hours of sleep the spirits were high <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I was the only one of us who had ever been there before, so I was excited to see how the others would like it. <laughs> all right take a look at this map it shows the layout of all nine sections of the exhibition we started off in middle germany and it's giant fun fair every 15 minutes the lights dim and it turns night which makes for a very immersive experience. Like check this out, this looks so good! By the way, the scale of the models is 1 to 87. So that means a human figure is about 2 centimeters tall. They have a total of 263,000 figures on 1.5,000 square meters. So can you tell us what is your first impression, guys? It's pretty, pretty damn impressive. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wow. And we've just seen uh, like yeah. what, five square meters? Yeah. But let's check out the other stuff too. Next, we had a look at this fictional German town that was built in 2001 when Miniature Wonderland was founded. So right now, as you can hear, there's a emergency going on. So let's check it out. This is not a real fire, obviously but a simulation. And as you can see the castle is smoking. Then the fire brigade is alarmed and come to fight the fire.
Did you see all the cars moving around? I find that so cool. And at first I couldn't figure out what mechanics keeps them on the road. Think about it and I'll explain it later when I show my version at home. At Miniature Wonderland the traffic is extremely realistic with all cars checking the right of way, stopping at traffic lights, pedestrian crossings and railroad crossings. They let emergency vehicles pass, they blink on turns and turn on headlights at night. There's green wave traffic control, speed traps and much more. Each vehicle can be in one of four modes. They can just drive around, they can have a fixed destination, they can be limited to a certain route like buses or garbage trucks, or they can be on their way to an incident. So that is fire trucks, ambulances and police. Next we went to this control room where they track all trains, cars and as you'll see later there's airplanes and ships. In case any crashes happen, one of the employees will go to the location and fix the issue as fast as possible. Now let's move on to my personal favorite, the airport. With planes taking off and landing every few minutes and countless moving cars, the airport is the most impressive section from a technical point of view. It took six years to construct. I could go on talking about all the details like how the planes are lifted up, pushed back, the firefighters mock drill, sound effects and so on. That's because I watched all episodes of Garrett's video diary. He's one of the twins who founded Miniature Wonderland. So if you like to learn all about that, be sure to check it out on YouTube. But for now, let's move on. Now this is impressive. <laughs> yes, it really is. This is Switzerland, where they removed the ceiling such that the mountains can stretch over two stories. Oh, DJ Bobo playing. And now for the most recent addition to Miniature Wonderland, Italy. It's hard to get across how intricate everything is, but they really have outdone themselves with the level of detail and choice of color in this section.
take a moment to appreciate Venice. So this is actually the most extensive nine square meters in all of Wonderland because they've spent so much detail in that. Yep, it cost one million euros. Wow, the sunset over Venice. Attention details. It's crazy, you know? After we had lunch, we went to check out the USA. They have Las Vegas. Miami Beach. The Grand Canyon. big highways and so much more. Moving on, this is Hamburg. This is a famous opera house that opens up to let you watch a mini concert. Some of my friends were most excited about the final section of Scandinavia. They have 30,000 liters of real water. Ships traverse around here, but this is one of the only parts about Miniature Wonderland that has not been automated yet. It is someone's job to steer them with a remote control. Okay, so that's a wrap. We've seen all sections. And like I said, there's so much more to discover than what you have seen in this short video. So you have to come and check it out for yourself. I wasn't interested in miniature before I went, but it really is that attention to detail that makes this place so entertaining, even for non-enthusiasts. Now I'm going to show you my small project at home. Obviously, it doesn't compare to the size and quality of the models at Miniature Wonderland whatsoever, and it's not finished. Alright, so the first time I went to Miniature Wonderland, I got really inspired and wanted to build a little version of it for myself. So. This is all from when I was around 12 or 13 years old. So I got this one meter by 150 base plate of plywood. And first, let me show you the cars because that's what fascinated me the most. I have one driving car right here. It's this bus that I got from a kid. And I can turn on the bus with this little switch right here. And as you can see, the back axis is spinning. Now the front axis has this tiltable wheels and a little magnetic slider. And this magnetic slider will follow a, a wire that is led in to the road. I think there's way too much friction and I made some curves too sharp. That's why it's not really working. Actually, now that I'm unpacking this seven years later, I feel like working on this project again because it was really good fun. On a final note, it was awesome going to Miniature Wonderland with my friends this summer. So if you can check it out for yourself, you should. And let's get out there and do something. <laughs>